Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Francesco D'Alessio. In this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over the five top tools and features inside Sunrise Calendar, which I commonly use quite a lot and I think are kind of the most notable um, to be getting started with really. So let's run through them right now. So number one is color coding and color coding actually plays quite a significant part in the kind of experience of the calendar, especially on mobile. So what I've done on the left hand side is I've got all my different accounts on this side. So all of the kind of uh, calendars I'm involved in, whether it's my personal ones or third party applications um, that kind of embed in with this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but as you can see, all of them are color coded to specific colors, which is great. And as you can see on the center of the application, you can see all of the different colors. Uh, and I've only got a few here, but you can see all the different colors uh, in at a glance. So this kind of feature is very useful for when you're kind of having a lot of different events. And as you can see, I've skipped forward quite a bit. So I kind of mask my other calendar. But when you've got a lot of different events across the day and you filled up your calendar with a lot of different stuff, it's pretty handy at a glance to see over here, you know, you've got your personal brand time, uh, you know, over here, you've got your running time, you can dedicate a specific color to all the different aspects and areas of, of your life. Uh, and even other third party colors, you can embed there too, which is pretty handy. So head over to calendar.google.com. And from there, you'll be able to see all of the different ways you can change your color settings, and actually choose a specific one you like for each area. And it will help you dramatically when you're kind of visualizing it on your mobile phone quickly in the morning and seeing which ones uh, or in the evening, uh, which ones you want to get started on straight away. So the next feature is something that I talked about in previous episodes about Sunrise Calendar, and it's essentially the count settings. And, and you can access this by simply heading over to the cog in the corner and you can find this on the Mac web or the Windows version. Uh, and even your phone as well, you simply head over to settings, skip past preferences to accounts. And from here, you can attach all of the accounts you're working with. So as you can see down here, I've got Eventbrite, Evernote, Facebook, Google, Twitter. And what I really like about the way that they embed all of these ones, and uh, I want to show you an example now. As you can see here, I've got a Eventbrite one from last month. And as you can see, simply clicking on it gives you all of the context relevant to descriptions, location, and everything, it basically pulls in all the information from there, which is great. Over here as well, uh, CEO got invited to a Facebook event here uh, for Facebook, but Birmingham Oktoberfest. As you can see, you can see all of the attendees uh, embed right into your calendar and really does show you a more kind of native experience, which is great. And here's another one I like. Here's an Evernote one. Here you can see uh, the brilliance of being able to set a note reminder as well. It embeds straight into your calendar. You can access it straight from uh, viewing it on Evernote. So one thing to take into account, and this is the third point of the feature, is although it's not a feature, something that should be given credit is the design. Especially on mobile and especially on this actual web interface, you get a really slick design. Everything's very colorful. Everything's very simple. There's no distraction when it comes to being able to use this calendar. And it, out of all the calendar experiences, this is probably the least complicating, com least complicated experience uh, when it comes to actually being able to input and actually extract information at speed. So I definitely recommend it in terms of design. The fourth feature and tool that I love in Sunrise Calendar is a specific feature called Meet. And on the web interface, as you can see down here, there's a feature called Meet, and on the iOS and Android, it embeds straight into your keyboard settings. So what you can do is you simply tap this, um, you choose multiple times. So this is me choosing lots of different times I might be available. I can choose a location, so I can choose the actual place I want to meet. I can choose the time and length of meeting. So if I hit half an hour, it shuffles them down to half an hour. If I change two, you can have lots of different times there. You can choose the calendar it goes to as well. You can change the title. And once you simply do this, so just to test, you press tick and it copies that link straight to your, it copies the link straight to your clipboard, which is great because now I can go over to Facebook, I could go over to an email, I could go over to a forum, whatever it is, whatever way I'm communicating with people, I could send over a link to allow them to accept one of those uh, meeting times, which is great. So the Sunrise Meet feature is basically like Doodle, but a much more effective and direct way to communicate with people. 
Uh, and I'm really, I'm a really big fan of this. Although I've had a few problems with it, it's actually been a very handy feature. So definitely something worth trying out tomorrow, today, whenever it is that you want to check it out and actually get started. The one other thing I really love about Sunrise Calendar and I think has really huge potential. Um, for me, I'm a massive F1 fan. I make sure I watch every other every other time I can, <laughs> um, especially if it's on BBC as well, because sometimes they put it on Sky. But what the best thing is, if you hit the bottom left-hand corner and even on the d devices, you can actually get holiday calendars. So you can get UK holiday calendar, sports, all types of sports, uh, you know, all the kind of popular phase you know name days moon phases week numbers you can get the calendar for your tv you know bbc one you can see all of the great stuff that's available on bbc one it plugs it straight in uh, and you can actually choose what actual calendar you want to see um and even all of the sports schedules company events and tv shows uh i haven't seen company events before so i might take a cheeky look in and see what's available uh, okay no, no no i thought that was apple uh, Apple events would pop up when that happens. Anyway, this is something that a lot of people really would really appreciate because a lot of the time, um, some people you know want to know when the Great British Bake Off's off. I know my partner loves the Great British Bake Off, and this would be perfect for her. So I might convince her to get it. Anyway, um, that's a pretty handy feature. I know some people would like to see that. Anyway, guys, I hope this session was useful. I hope it kind of summarized some of the features. Uh, you know, hopefully this is beneficial for people who are coming in and going, okay, what's Sunrise Calendar? How can it benefit me? And they can take away some things to actually go and, and implement. Uh, because a lot of the time, people just get this calendar, start plugging things in, and don't realize the kind of effect if you, uh, you know, add all these kind of plugins and information uh, as you go along. So I'm looking forward to the next few videos. Um, make sure to keep productive and have a great week. Cheers, everyone.